So Manfred, um, where did you first approach uh, labor law and uh, who are the scholars that uh, inspire you the most when engaging in international and comparative labor law? Well, I engaged in labor law in the late 60s, you know, and uh, well, the people who inspired me most then was, uh, first of all, uh, my uh, professor of that time, which was Thilo Ram, and it was also uh, Spiros Simitis, and of course, colleagues whom I uh, read about, you know, like uh, Hugo Sinsheimer, and in particular uh, Otto Kahn Freund, who later on became a close friend of mine. So speaking of Otto Kahn Freud, um, uh, what is it, his legacy today? I would say it's his methodology in comparative work, you know. Uh, he wrote fantastic things about uh, the use and abuse of uh, comparative work, but what he has developed and what is applied today everywhere, I would say, where you do comparative work, that's the functional approach, meaning that you do not look merely at the normative level, at the rules and institutions, but you look at law in the context of a society and ask how in reality does law solve problems. That's, that's his legacy, I would say. In relation to the uh, comparative method, um, let's say that uh, in the past uh, there was uh, very little information uh, about national systems and very few publications available uh, were difficult to uh, access. Um, today there seems to be a sort of information overload. Uh, many scholars discuss uh, other legal frameworks without having ever been uh, to the countries uh, examined and uh, somehow this affects the seriousness and the reliability of uh, this comparative uh, method. So, do you think that uh, I mean, this approach uh, um, influences negatively uh, the uh, uh, comparative research? Well, there is certainly the danger, you know. Uh, 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 quite often, you know, due to this kind of overflow of uh, information, well, you get uh, comparative studies which are really nothing but superficial. You know, they are totally useless. You know. So, this doesn't have to happen. You, know. you can, of course, use the internet, you can use online you know, to collect information, but you have to then start your comparative work and put this in the context of the different countries. And this, in my view, still implies a need to go to these countries, to talk to colleagues there, and uh, to find out how well the reality in such, the, the whole complex reality in such a country is. You know. So, in consideration of the most recent events, for example, the war, uh, the pandemic, and you know some uh, globalization uh, issues. Um, do, do you think that comparative labor law still plays a major role as an academic discipline? Of course, you know, uh, comparative labor law is as important as it always was, you know, because uh, the purpose of comparative labor law is mainly to better understand your own system. And this need still exists. And, and the, uh, uh, on the other hand, you know, there is also the possibility of comparative labor law by providing ideas and concepts which might be implemented in your own system, you know. And this all remains, you know. What advice would you give to an early stage uh, uh, <coughs> researcher approaching comparative labor law today? If he or she wants to com uh, approach comparative labor law, I would say go abroad as early and as often as possible to learn how things are regulated in other countries and why this is, you know, and then they become excellent comparative labor lawyers. Excellent. 
And uh, one last question. Um, what is labor law for you today? Uh, is it a discipline doomed to lose relevance? In my view, it's a very relevant discipline because you see, the world of work is changing all the time. Labor law uh, is a dynam dynamic concept, which means you always have to adjust the rules and the institutions to the changes in the reality. And this will remain, and in, it never was as, in, as urgent as now, since we have digitalization, since we have decarbonization, and to adapt to all these dramatic changes, you know, is really something. Yeah, thanks a lot. <coughs> My pleasure.